Greetings friends, welcome once again to my game room. I'm David McCord and today I'd like to tell you a story about a game called Fanarandimi. Uh, it's actually one of a family of games called Fanarana. You've probably heard of them. Um, and uh, they have very, very unique movement and capture moves to them. But uh, the story goes like this, that the king of Madagascar was trying to decide which of his sons would inherit the throne. He was advised by his astrologers to uh, pick a time when his sons were out of the uh, capital city and uh, tell them that they needed to uh, attend to him in, uh, as urgently as possible. And so he sent out a missive to uh, summon his sons and uh, the eldest son who normally would be in line for the throne, um, was in the middle of playing a game of Fanarana and uh, decided that he was going to uh, complete the game before he headed back to the capital. And therefore, he lost the opportunity to uh, inherit the throne. Well, the people of uh, Madagascar take the game very seriously. Fanarana, also called Fanarona, can be found in three versions. Fanarancivi is the largest and the most common version, usually just called Fanarona. It has 45 points and each player has 24 pieces. Fanarandimi is the version described in this video with a board of 25 points. Each player has 12 pieces. Fanarantilo is the smallest version with only 9 points and 4 pieces per player. This is akin to the simpler two-player puzzle games like tic-tac-toe. This is a, a simpler game, a simpler version of the game um, that's pretty popular with school children and that sort of thing. But it's a great introduction to the very, very unique way that things move, uh, that pieces capture other pieces. Um, rather than go into any more detail, uh, why don't you take a look at the rules right here and uh, then we'll come back in a second and uh, summarize. There are two kinds of moves. A non-capturing move is simply one peg moving one space along one of the lines on the board. Nothing unusual about that. The capturing move is the most interesting and challenging, and there are two ways to capture opposing pieces. The approach capture is made when a piece is moved towards an opposing piece. Simply moving next to it removes the piece from the game. The withdrawal capture is made when a piece is moved away from the opposing piece. Yes, this will remove the piece that is left behind. Very interesting, but there's more. When a capture is made by either of these methods, every piece in a straight line beyond the captured piece is also removed from the board, so a row of opposing pieces can be captured in one move. Approach and withdrawal cannot be used at the same time. The player must choose which they want to perform, if both might be possible. And if a capture is made, the player can make another capture immediately, if possible. But the capturing peg can end up in the same space it was when the turn started, so there's some restriction to this power. Obviously, setting up these chain moves is the real strategy of the game. There is an organization that's based in the United States that is a Fanarana fan club, um, people who uh, play in tournament and so on. Um, but it is internationally known and uh, a real, cl real clever and intriguing little game. This is, of course, one of the uh, Peg Pastime series uh, that we've developed, uh, and they're all available through Red Hen Toys. So if you're interested, uh, go check it out there. And uh, also, if you're interested in more how-to videos like this one, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell there so that you'll get a notification when a new episode is uploaded. In the near future, we're going to start uh, developing some episodes that are more of an interview format, a discussion format. Uh, we're going to be talking about different game mechanics and, and types of games, uh, what makes a good game. Uh, how games that we are playing today 
are rooted in uh, historical mechanics and, and uh, how they developed over the centuries. So uh, we hope you'll tune in for that. Um, share the information with friends so that uh, we can build up our subscription base. Uh, meanwhile, like I always say, be sure to play every day.